Yo guys, welcome to another video. It's a beautiful day today. Today I am going to be cooking and trying Will Tennyson's cauliflower tortillas. If you don't know who Will Tennyson is, man, he is only one of the best fitness YouTubers out there. He's a big inspiration to me, one of the reasons why I'm in it now. And I love the guy. The guy, it's funny, Will Tennyson and I have a lot of things in common. Our physiques are quite similar, both fair skin, we both have huge appetites, we both love our donuts. Obviously, we're both on YouTube now. I can't wait to try his tortillas. But first, I gotta walk to the store and get a couple more ingredients, and then we'll get into it. Oh well, yes, and Will Tennyson and I, and how could I forget this, we are both huge caffeine addicts. First, we need two cups of riced cauliflower. Wow, that was fast. Quarter cup chopped cilantro. And now to microwave the riced cauliflower for four minutes. Place cauliflower in a cheesecloth to strain out all moisture. Cheesecloth, cheesecloth. Hey wizard, wizard, cheesecloth. Wizard, where are you? I need cheesecloth. Oh. Let's beat those eggs real quick. All right, we need half a lime juiced. Half a lime going into the bowl. Now we need cilantro in the bowl. Just adding in some salt and pepper. And all ingredients. Okay, now we need to actually make tortilla shapes with the little mixture. Avocado oil spray. Five degrees. Ten minutes. All right, flip them over. Five minutes. All right, they are done. I'm gonna let them cool for a little bit. All right, guys. For the first test, we're going really lazy and light. Just some raw zucchini strips, Frank's hot sauce, and a squeeze of that lime. All right. Obviously it's not a real tortilla. I think he said that in his own video. But yeah, it is like kind of a kind of a tortilla egg bite or like an extra crispy omelet. And that inspires me to make my own modification of this recipe using just a little bit of flour so that it'll actually be more like an actual tortilla, but still very low calories. Cause that's what I'm all about. Trading off a little bit. I'll take a bit more calories for a bit more realistic texture. And by the way, they smell very good. All right, this time I'm spicing things up a bit with a little bit of crispy fried onions broken up in there and some taco seasoning and then a little bit more lime juice. Pretty small, as you can see, I would have easily doubled, probably even tripled or quadrupled this recipe. Yes, yes. And for the last one, we're making it weird. This time we're gonna have some crispy beets. A little more Frank salt sauce. But now, some light whip. Some sugar-free maple syrup. Squeeze the lime still. And maybe a touch of the taco seasoning. Now let's see what we got.
Oh. Oh man. You know they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Well, I just showed you, you switch it up and you do get insane results. I don't like that, man. I don't like that. Anyways, I would give this, I feel like I have to rate it three ways. Giving me inspiration to make my own version, I would give it a 10 out of 10. If I was some random dude on the street judging, looking for an actual tortilla, I'd probably give it like a five, five or six. And looking to eat healthy and I'm not really looking for a tortilla, I'd give it a solid eight. Hey, I am very excited. I have been getting a lot of gadgets lately for the channel and I'm getting a few more today. I'm going to Micro Center and I'm taking you guys with me. All right, guys, I hope you are as pumped up as I am. Next up is a leg workout from this past Monday. My workout stats will be on the screen. I like doing unilateral leg presses because it allows you to balance out your weaknesses and also it saves time and energy because you only have to load half the plates versus doing presses with two legs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe. Every like and subscribe really helps me out and it shows that you want more. And by the way, I got a new haircut. I hope you like that too. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.